Hi guys, so I didn't upload anything for a few days now, I think, but there is a reason. I actually am in Venice for the film festival. I spent the last day like at the festival. Uh, it was an amazing atmosphere. People was crazy. I loved everything. I was there for Jodie Comer because, you know, I am a super fan of the lady. I think she really is one of the best actress of this generation. I don't care whatever you say. She is a fucking genius. And I came for her. I was able to see her with my own eyes. So now we really exist in the same world you know uh anyways it was a beautiful day and i was able to watch the um, the last duel uh in, during the festival and i wanted to talk five minutes about the movie like if you don't know this is a uh, is based on a real story and I think it was the last official duel that happened uh, in France. And basically what happened is that um, this lady accused um, a friend of, uh, of her husband of raping her. So the husband um oh my god i don't know the word in english anyways he went to the king and uh he accused the friend and they did this duel and the movie is um is divided in three episodes basically and every episode is, is the point of view of one of the characters so you basically see the same story uh, told by the three different people. And that there is where I think Jodie was the best. Like she did an amazing job because she they had to shoot the same scenes, but from a different point of view. So there were scenes where basically everything was the same for the three characters, but the feeling that she gave away was totally different. Like, like the way she was looking at someone, you could tell she was expressing something different based on the point of view we were watching. And there is where I really think she did an amazing job. I think she could be, in my mind, she could be, um, oh my God, nominated for, you know, an Oscar or something. Because like, I, I know, I'm not even kidding. It's not because I love her, but everyone is saying the same thing, like, 99% of the people, even the ones that didn't really like the movie, are saying that Jodi, it's it, she's something else. Like she, wow. And the movie, in some in some moments, is kind of hard to watch because, you know, the topic is not really easy, and. There is some violence going on, you know, in general, battles and stuff like that. There is a lot of blood when the battles happen. It's like that is another thing I liked. Ridley Scott is super good at that, I think. And um, so, yes, the, movies, the the movie was incredible to me. I really loved it and I was tense <laughs> like at the end I was almost dying like I was 
physically shaking. I don't know, I think the person that was um, at my side that thought I was having some kind of health problem because really I was so tense but the movie is beautiful uh, I can understand people not really liking it because it's basically the same story told three times and sometimes the scenes are the same uh, but it, that is like for me that was one of the beautiful things about the movie because same scene different feeling to it feelings to it because you know uh, 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 and uh, it was just really something i loved it so i think everyone should give it a try i can understand it's not for everyone because it's a costume movie you know um, not everyone likes that a plus it's like two hours and an, and a half long it's a long movie but it was totally worth it for me so yes if you like Jodie Comer you have to watch it because I think this is one of her best performance ever she was incredible I really loved her and you know now I want to give a little spoiler so it's not even, I don't know if it's a spoiler but if you don't want to know anything more don't watch these 10 seconds of the video because I want to say one thing that I really loved so turn off right now if you don't want to hear that but there is a thing I really liked that basically every chapter was titled the truth uh, for this character the truth for this other character and when they did the chapter from her point of view it it, it was the truth uh, from I don't remember if it was from my English is failing me but it was basically the truth for uh, Margarita blah 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 and I loved this little touch where with the others they put the title and then the the, sh the show the um, the chapter began but with theirs at some point like the name went away and the only thing that was there was the truth like to tell us that her version was the real one like i think it was a nice touch because you know they wanted to make a point to let you know that this lady was telling the truth and you know it was nice it was nice and one thing i got out of this movie is the like i i just am so happy that i am not living in, in that period even though like maybe set aside the duel at the end but the story is modern because before anyone was ready to accept her truth they like questioned her they thought she was accusing falsely someone like the first thought wasn't the one to believe the lady and even this thing that what happened it wasn't something like you know a crime against the woman but it was a crime against <laughs> her husband because basically she is her like she is his property it, it was a whole thing oh my god i was shaking the the guy 
at my side sometimes was like, oh my god, I was I, I was the same, like, oh my god. <laughs> it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch in some moments. Like, I almost, I was almost cringe, cringing. <laughs> I don't know the, the verb. Not because of the movie, but because of the talk, the thought about how life was and how life is still is in some cases. Oh my God. But anyways, watch the movie. It's a beautiful movie. And if you like it, I could try to put some, you know, some video like this only for my Patreons on the side just to talk about movies from time to time. I don't know. Even because I feel my English is really failing me because I was in the sun for 12 hours yesterday because I wanted to see Jodie Comer in real life. I mean, I will send... I, I don't know if you any of you care cares, but there are some pictures of her and I can't believe I saw her like that. Like she... She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I was, it was so weird that when they came to the festival, like for the red car carpet, everyone was screaming her name or Ben Affleck name and no one was caring about Jennifer Lopez <laughs> or Matt Damon. It was so weird, but at some point, the only thing you could you could hear was Jody, Jody. I don't know. I think it's because Killing Eve fans are everywhere. <laughs> like they are conquering the world. Anyways, that aside, um, I am jo enjoying my time here. I am so tired because now it's eight in the morning. I've been up for like one hour already and last night i came back to the hotel it was already 3 a.m because the movie was pretty late my screen my screening and it took me more than an hour and a half to get back to my hotel and anyways that's it another thing if you ever come to italy you should visit Venice at least for one day because it's beautiful like it's something else it's really beautiful that being said I will see you soon with some reactions bye